This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Good Friday of the Lord's Passion, Year B. Today's reflection is entitled, I Thirst. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a spring of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the Spirit. Consider the thirst of Jesus. Though his physical thirst must have been excruciating as he hung upon the cross, pouring forth his precious blood upon the world, the spiritual thirst our Lord felt would have greatly overshadowed his physical thirst. His spiritual thirst is for you, for your soul, for your salvation. As he hung upon the cross, Jesus did not think of himself, his suffering, or his wretched physical condition. Instead, he thought of you and of all those for whom he was giving his life. Psalm 69 verse 22 says, Instead, they gave me poison for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar. Jesus fulfilled this scripture passage as he thirsted on the cross. The vinegar symbolically refers to each one of us. The vinegar given to our Lord on the cross was spoiled wine. Each one of us, symbolically speaking, is spoiled wine. The purity of our humanity has been corrupted by original sin. As a result, we are not the people God intended us to be by nature. But in our fallen state, we have the potential to satiate Jesus' spiritual thirst. As you think about your own life, what do you see? Can you see yourself as spoiled wine? Perhaps it is a bit humiliating to think of yourself this way. But humility is good, especially when we understand that our Lord longs for us in our brokenness. Upon the cross, Jesus did not cry out for the best of wine, the finest and most delicious. As he thirsted on the cross, he longed to be satiated by you, in your weakened and broken state, just as you are, so that he can pour forth his cleansing mercy upon you. As soon as Jesus tasted the sour wine, he cried out, It is finished. This symbolically represents his soul being satiated by you every time you turn to him in your need. It's amazing to consider the fact that you have the ability to console the heart of Jesus and satiate his thirst this way. St. Therese of Lisieux was very fond of a devotion dedicated to consoling Jesus' heart. As a child, she was given a prayer card that pictured Jesus in prison, looking out at one small flower. Therese saw herself as that one small flower who was given the mission to console Jesus' heart by visiting him regularly in the prison of the tabernacle. Spiritually speaking, that moment of Jesus' thirst on the cross permeates all time and continues today. Every time you come to him in your need, especially when you come before him in the Eucharist, he turns his eyes to you and calls to you, inviting you to console him by offering him the humility and brokenness of your life. Today our churches are empty. The Blessed Sacrament has been removed. As a result, we should seek to satiate the thirst of our Lord by thirsting for His divine presence that will return on Easter when the Mass is celebrated once again. Today is a day to grow in our desire 
for the presence of our Lord in our lives. We must allow ourselves to feel His loss, experience His death, and mourn His suffering. As we do, we must open ourselves to a deep spiritual longing to consume His broken body and precious blood once again. Doing so will not only prepare us to be satiated ourselves, it will also enable us to satiate the heart of our Lord. Reflect today upon Jesus on the cross. Gaze at Him as He gazes at you. See the longing in His heart for you. Know that He gave His life for you so that you could receive the gift of new life. Know also that your openness to this gift of His life poured out for you will console our Lord's heart and bring His divine mission of salvation to fruition. Satiate our Lord's thirst today so that He can once again say, It is finished. Let us pray. My thirsting Lord, your sacred heart longs for me with a love that is infinite and incomprehensible. You desire that I come to you, receive your love, and satiate your thirst. As I gaze upon you in your suffering state, I open myself to you and to the gift of your precious blood poured out for me. May my openness to you be a consolation to you as I receive your divine love. Jesus, I trust in you.